Hello there guys. Today I'll take you through a day working from home. I work in Paris as a data consultant at LNT Infotech and I'm currently focused on one client, L'Oréal. It's been over a year that we've been working from home. So this is what most of our days look like now. Thanks to my friends, I don't use an alarm to wake up anymore. I rely on these smart lights that fade in to wake me up like a sunflower. <laughs> I check my messages and new stuff the internet will throw at me while the light continues to wake me up. They fade in over 20 minutes and this gives me enough time to ease into the fact that it's morning and that I have access to good coffee. I step out into the chilly morning to ride a city bike qui se trouve en bas de mon immeuble. Je fais un tour autour de mon quartier and stop by the baker on my way back. The best thing about biking in Paris is you don't have to wear a mask. Also, there's not too many people in the streets at this time of day. Ran into my flatmate today and gathered my breakfast vitals. I'm sufficiently awake at this point, so I angle my desk to some natural light, turn off the bright yellow lights and get into my coffee and smear some salty butter and bon maman frais intense while I take in the cool breeze. By nine, I clean up the table and say hi to my parents because I'm a good Indian boy who loves his parents. I brush my teeth and go over the things I have to do at work today. I angle my table again to ensure best sunlight on the face in the morning while I look at the emails on the weekend and prepare my one-on-one -on -one with the client at 10 a.m. The morning blazes past in meetings and I walk to the bakery again to get myself a good sandwich. I didn't make any dal yesterday, but tomorrow will be a nice desi meal. I watch some YouTube while I eat and ease into scoping meetings with the team at work. Mondays usually pass away in a trail of meetings and follow up emails and before I know it, it's time to take the 4pm coffee break. I like to take a shower and change into fresh clothes and prepare my coffee. This time around, I heat up some banana bread and spend some time practicing my Dutch. I'm currently on the intermediate level of the basics and beyond plan and today I'm working on my pronunciation. Mijn speelgoed is kapot. Mijn speelgoed is kapot. My ladder is not kapot. I put my cup and plate away and switch back to work mode to prepare for my last meeting of the day. This is a rather exciting project I'm working on with L'Oreal to help them build a community of experts for a tool called Power BI. I have been messing with this tool for a bit and while it sounds simple, we are working on connecting experts of this tool over Europe so that we can collaborate and reuse designs that have already been built elsewhere. Every time we discuss the community aspect, I wonder why I don't spend time on my own little French community, especially when I see how successful the work community is getting. <laughs> A teammate pushes the last meeting to 30 minutes later. Salut Adil, comment ça va? Salut but this is the most exciting part of the day when I catch up about the community and share the exciting bits of what's happening in the community. Amidst my last meeting for the day, it's already sunset time in France. So my smart lights turn on automatically, reminding me that it's sunset and I need to wrap in all the things that I want to get done before the end of the day. I finish my last meeting and respond to emails, planning the first few tasks for Tuesday and turn my work computer off. I hastily open a letter I received today from the French social security that I completely forgot about. I've been waiting for this card since 2016 and it finally arrives. <laughs> Such luck to capture my ecstasy as I'm vlogging today. This expression says French paperwork is truly a knife. I was reminded by Google today that I screenshotted this image a few weeks ago. So I'm reminded that I have a dream to make beautiful Urdu calligraphy. So before I get into watching a TV show, I set up the ambience for some Bollywood music so that I don't lose the touch of my motherland and I calligraphy away. It's too late to do any groceries with the curfew in Paris at 6 p.m. So I order some Deliveroo and fire up a TV show. I'm watching an old French TV show called H, which is now on Netflix. And while I'm convinced I speak French fluently, I enlist the new expressions I've never heard before in my awesome database of French expressions. 
which I can access by drawing an S on my phone. I get into editing mode and after just 30 minutes of editing, I feel like lazing and kick back to import the footage from today's vlog. This is the first time I'm vlogging. So last Monday this time, I was enjoying a nice little bar of chocolate while I finish my TV show and decide at some point if I want to go to bed. Every day has a few aspects that you didn't see on here today. But the idea generally remains the same. Get to work, squeeze in my language learning stuff and YouTube stuff everywhere I can and just have fun while I'm at it. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. I hope to make another version of a non-Monday day or better yet, a Sunday. Stay tuned and while you're living this awesome life, keep learning. Hey, Google. Good night.